so we're doing a Halloween cocktails video part two. If you haven't seen last year's, I'll link it down below. This year we're going a little bit more simple because last year was real complex. So if you want more drinks that are a little bit harder, might impress your friends a little bit more, check out last year's video. But these ones will impress still. They're still gonna be bomb. They're gonna be good. I have my good friend here, John Michael. These drinks are definitely a lot more low key and a lot more just like easier to make, I feel like. Like last year we had some really just like extravagant ingredients. Way to cook things. That just like required like this much liquid that we still have. Those bottles from last year, we still, we have, still have that alcohol Campari, today. Campari, still got it. Mm -hmm. I'll pay anybody $2 to take it off my hands. So first drink we're gonna do is called the Bloody Orange Cocktail, but I'm transforming it. I'm making it my own a little bit because I'm not doing it exactly on the recipe. I'll link the recipe down below if you wanna do it to the tea, but it's gonna be the Bloody Citrus Cocktail. What makes this drink cool are the syringes. I got these at Walmart in an eight pack for a couple dollars, so you can find these in any party store. This is what makes it cool. Glasses, you can choose whatever you want. It could be plastic cups for all your guest care. For the liquids, you're going to need some Sprite, orange soda, and some puree, which I'm lazy and I didn't make my own puree, but making it at home in a blender is really going to give you the effect that you want. So if you want to go all out for your guests, by all means, I'm going to use store-bought. And then some vodka, but I bought some citrus vodka because although we have orange soda, we don't want to have a lot of orange color in the drink because you want to be able to see the blood from the syringe into the drink. You know what I'm saying? So starting off, we're gonna do a splash of orange soda. Then you wanna fill it about halfway with Sprite. So we're gonna do one full tall shooter of vodka, which, oh God. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put it in a shot glass first so I can easily syringe it up. So how you would serve it, it's just like that to your guests and then they would be in charge of Alright guys, this is the Bloody Orange Cocktail. It does sit at the bottom of the drink, but, sorry, Bloody Citrus, I renamed it. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's try it. Yay! Cheers. I love alcohol. Oh, that's strong. I think you need to mix it. <laughs> Make a thicker puree, you guys, because Thick the thicker puree. density is what's going to give you that, like, floating effect, which she'll put a picture up so you can what see it's what supposed it's supposed to look, to look like. like. Otherwise though, it's, it ends up being a cute color, so I'm okay with it. Overall, it's pink, and what's wrong with that? Now on to my first drink of the night, which I'm pretty stoked about. So I made this one up about three days ago, and I actually tried it out the other night when we were watching a movie or something, and I really like it. So what you're gonna need for this one is Sprite, Hawaiian Punch, the green flavor. I don't even know what flavor that is. <laughs> Melon liqueur, which my favorite is Midori, but it's just expensive, so we got the off brand. <laughs> uh, and then the same vodka, because citrus is my favorite type of vodka, so we're just sticking with it. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your shot glass, and I'm gonna do one shot, which is half of this, because this is a double shot, of the melon liqueur. Next up, you're gonna add some Sprite. I'd say about one third Sprite overall in this entire drink, you guys, because that's gonna be the base of the whole thing. Next, you're gonna get your VOD, and we're gonna do a full double shot, because I like my drinks strong. And now, to top it off, we're gonna use the Hawaiian Punch, which just kinda adds a different flavor. All right, you guys, and here we have the finished product. Now, my drinks, I made them up from scratch, and so I decided if I'm making up a drink, then I need to make up a name. Uh, so I decided to name my drinks after popular horror movies. Um, this one I have called The Green Inferno, because it is green. Bottoms up. That's actually really good. Really good. I like that a lot. 
Mm. This one's rather strong, but it's mm. really, really good. Like, it's strong, but like it doesn't taste bad. So this one is called the Bloodshot, which it's really, really easy to make. It is a shot, which I thought I'd mix it up and create a shot for you guys because all the other ones are mixed drinks and that may not be everyone's cup of tea. Yeah. For this one, really simple ingredients. One is optional. We have vodka, of course. I picked some Hawaiian Punch, just some anything red. If you can do red soda, if you want any kind of red drink, you just want this as the base because it's going to look like a blood thing yeah blood syringe whatever and then I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet and sour mix but that is of course optional I just wanted to add a little bit more complexity to this drink because it is so simple the best part about this is how you take the shot now we use syringes in the first one I liked it so much I made my second drink with the syringe so I'm gonna make the shot in a regular shot glass and then suck it up into the syringe and we'll take it from the syringe so let's go we're gonna fill up the shot about halfway there, which is one full shot, because I'm using a tall shooter shot glass. We add some of this to give it that red look, and then add just a little bit of sweet and sour mix. Like I said, this is optional, but I think it'll just add a little bit more flavor. You suck it up. blood shot now if you pre-make these before the party and you just have a bunch of these just chilling in your fridge and you bust them out I think it'd be super cute I think people will be really into it and it's a fun way to take a shot on Halloween all right we're gonna test it out I'm scared I'm scared this is a lot of alcohol <laughs> I'm really nervous is what it's just it's just not what I'm used to <laughs> Just, you have to mentally prepare yourself <laughs> for the feeling that it feels like. It does feel bizarre. But, to be honest, the fact that these cheap little Walmart syringes hold liquid and don't I spill is I a really good idea. I thought it would leak. Yeah. And it does if you like shake it, like obviously don't do that. Yeah. Um, I leak if you shake me. But these are really, really cute and really cheap and affordable and I think you can use them in so many drinks. So, highly recommend the syringes. They do hold a liquid just fine. Okay you guys, this is my second and final drink. I'm really stoked on this one. Basically the ingredients are super simple just like the last one. Vodka, obviously. Vinique, which is mm -hmm. my favorite, absolute favorite like liqueur style anything. Um, there's actually other drinks that we make with this which I'm thinking if you guys leave a comment below we'll be doing more holiday themed drinking videos if you guys want them. I know we said that last time as like an idea. But this time, if you guys say yes, because we're gonna be living together, which we didn't know that last year at this we time. No, we weren't living yeah, together. Yeah, we had time. no idea that we were gonna be roommates. So weird. And then the last two ingredients are just lemonade, which I picked up for my work because I work at a coffee shop. So why buy lemonade when I can just take it? And uh, my favorite Gatorade flavor, which is Glacier Cherry, which is like the clear kind of murky looking one, which is important, and I'll get to that in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off right away with the vodka, just so that I can get that out of the way. You guessed it, fill up the double shooter, and by any means, you guys, if you feel like this is too strong, feel free to just use a regular shot glass with just one shot of alcohol. Next up, we're gonna add some lemonade, which it does not matter where you get your lemonade or what brand it is. Um, so yeah, so as you can already see, the lemonade kind of gives like a nice, fog-esque like murky water and that's what we're really going for with this drink and I'll explain in just a second. Now we're gonna add the Gatorade. Uh, basically you guys we want to fill this up about one-fourth of the entire glass basically halfway of what it's already filled. All right, you guys, and this is the finished product. Um, it's super pretty. I hope you guys can tell, like, video-wise, how gorgeous. gorgeous this actual drink is. This is just a great drink to have literally all year round if you want. But I decided to name this one after one of my favorite, absolute favorite horror movies, The Mist. All right, here we go. All right. We're gonna taste it. Mm. Just smelling it. 
Oh, that shit's good. So good. The great thing about this drink, oh wow, I can't even taste the vodka. Not, not at all. Now that, now that I actually thought about you it. You cannot taste the vodka. Because I was going to say the great thing about this drink and drinking with Vinique is that it's so light and you can never really, you, you don't feel like a heavy alcohol mm -hmm. presence. This and I feels forgot refreshing. there was vodka in this for like two seconds. I actually forgot. It's dangerous though. Be careful with these kind of drinks and drinking with liqueurs and stuff that hide alcohol because that can be real dangerous. Exactly. All right, guys, that is it for this year's Halloween cocktails. I hope you guys enjoyed and try out these drinks. Let us know if you do on social media because they're awesome every single one is really good and don't forget to comment if you guys want to see more of these holiday themed alcohol videos they're really fun to film and we really enjoy them i think it's just a matter of if you guys enjoy them so if you do enjoy them then let us know and we'll do more and that'll be great be safe when you're drinking only drink if you're of age no drinking and driving and have a great halloween if you guys do make these on halloween but yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and we will see you next time hopefully yeah Bye. So I. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we did last time. Why? Why do you always make the tripod sideways? <laughs> Two shots. <laughs> Wait, oh god. <laughs> Pizza's here. <laughs> we we're thinking ahead. Look, we got pizza for after video. I have to get my basketball shorts. <laughs> we're gonna have music playing, right? Because some of the times that we're talking is just like not needed. Yes, there's music. Woo! Uh, woo! You sound like a middle aged mom. It's <laughs> 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 not champagne, that's all that matters. You guys, that's a real struggle for us. All right, guys, that is it for this year's Halloween. Let's Hold on. And of course, I will link John Michael's channel down below. He does do some YouTube videos. That one's mine. But I didn't want them to know that. I was just gonna hold it as a prop. <laughs> Restart it. <laughs> fucking shit. Hey, here, why don't we just fucking switch so you don't have to get all of my business? I mean, you can drink mine. I don't have a problem. I just like my ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with that. My pizza's waiting. Are you looking at your boobs? <laughs> oh my knuckles, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, man. we play like one more line. That's my drink. I wanna get a picture of us holding our drinks. I've never done the lip to two and I can't decide. I got pumpkin from Lime Crime, which I don't know if that's too much.